Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day and today I'm here to make a book review and this book review is going to be on Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Manson and why don't I have the book with me? So here is the book cover which is awesome Another thing awesome about this book if you don't already know that that is just freaking awesome that is just freaking awesome so for those who don't know what this book is about, it's about two girls. One is named Emily and the other one is named Sloane. S-L-O-A-N-E. I don't know where that name comes from, but it's a name. They are two best friends and one summer Sloane disappears. And Emily is left on her own and she has a list of things to do. So Emily has 13 things to do on the list and um, yeah, I can read it to you if you don't want me to read to you well close your ears for some time number one kiss a stranger number two go skinny dipping number three steal something number four break something number five panel up number six ride a darn horse yay cow pow number seven 55 street avenue as for mona number eight the blacklist dress and somewhere to wear it Number 9, dance until dawn. Number 10, share some secrets in the dark. Number 11, hug a Jamie. Number 12, apple picking at night. And number 13, sleep under the stars. So these are her challenges for the summer. And then she meets this girl named Dawn and this guy named Frank and they will help her to cross all these things on her list. I really liked Emily's character. I thought that she was really down to hurt. She wasn't too popular and all these cliches. She was really the kind of girl that I could relate to. She was a bit shy. She doesn't go talk to people. She doesn't especially go talk to guys. She's not at ease with them. I give this book 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I didn't tell you that but now I'm telling you that because that's a bit important. One of Frank's friends come to help them to cross things on the list. His name is Collins and I thought he was really funny. He looked a lot like Kenji from the Shadow Me trilogy but not in the same aspects because Kenji has powers and Collins obviously doesn't. But I thought that the way they thought it was a bit the same. I thought it was really funny. I didn't really like Emily and Frank's families. They were quite weird. Emily's family is really weird. I cannot really tell you how weird because I would have to tell you the entire book. But her parents, when they do some theater things, when they have to create a play, they're like really down into their things and they forget that they have kids somehow. I don't know how I can explain that, but they like forget and Emily can go like wherever she goes because they don't re they don't really realize it. That's strange. They like ask for her help, but they don't ask her how her day was or how if she's fine at all. So that was strange. And Frank's parents, I really really hated them. That was the worst. They are trying to divorce because of a house that they built together cuz the father is the architect and the mother is the designer. Believe, something like that and they didn't agree on the house that they made together and now they want a divorce Mind but yeah, I really didn't like his parents. I thought they were like non-existent and I didn't really like that and Yeah, one thing that really 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 irritated me was the ending The reason why Sloan disappears because you learn at the end. I won't tell you don't worry, but the reason why it was so stupid, man, this book, I was expecting a so much bigger ending than what it had and that just really dropped me because that is the main reason why I didn't give this book 5 out of 5 stars, I could have, but the end was just, I was expecting so much more from this book because throughout the whole book that was really perfect. I really liked the time between present and past when we learned why Sloane and Emily are friends, how they met and all that stuff that happened because there are some challenges that you don't really understand like number five Penelope, you don't really know why it's only written Penelope and you're like why? and in the flashbacks you learn why she put that in her list and I thought it was really great throughout the book how it was put but the end was just like what? I really didn't understand the end I was just no I was like expecting so much more and it just really didn't work for me but that still really doesn't change 
the story at all because that was really perfect. The bucket list was a really great idea of a book and I will obviously be reading Second Chance Summer and all of the Morgan Matson's other books because I really like her writing style. So that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you've read this book and if you liked it or not. I would really like to know what you thought about this book. And yes, I will see you soon with another video. Bye!